thing there. Thank you, Mr. Nina. Thank you for the time. Thank you. So that's it for our experience at Soban Gay Town Grill sa SM Mega Mall, and I would say that it was a very nice Korean food date. And lahat ng mga nakita nyo na nasa table namin na nang kinain namin is kasama siya dun sa set for two na kinuha namin, which is the favorite feast barbecue set for 1,300 pesos that time, and kasama to dun sa mga grill sets for two choices nila. So, nag-add-on lang kami ng 20 pesos for the kimchi rice and another 20 pesos for the cheese dip. For my thoughts about the dishes, 
Kung napanood nyo yung whole video, you will see kung ano yung mga naging, nagustuhan ko at yung mga hindi ko masyadong nagustuhan. So, I hope you watched that. But overall, I would say na hindi siya comparable dun sa mga unlimited Korean grill na na-feature ko na dito sa channel ko. That's because hindi only itong soban. Meron silang meal sets for two or meal sets for four and then meron din silang ganito mga a la carte dishes or a la carte servings ng mga meat nila para pwede lang kayong mag-add ng mga add na mga choices of meat na gusto nyong i-grill. Marami rin silang iba't ibang Korean dishes dito like yung fried chicken na natikman namin, yung mga Korean pancake. I am showing you the menu here para makita nyo kasi sobrang wide ng range ng Korean dishes na ina-offer nila. I would recommend going to Soban if you want to experience Korean grill na walang pressure ng, you know, unlimited kailangan mong masulit, etc. I would recommend this to people na yun nga, itatry yung Korean grill and gustong itry yung mga iba't ibang Korean dishes na hindi natin makikita sa mga Andy Sam Gipsal places. But if you are one of the people na for that time gusto mo talaga ng Andy meat, puro meat, this is not really the place for you. I suggest you really go to the Andy Sam Gipsal places. But for Soban, I would really say na nagustuhan ko yung mga natikman ko na dishes nila and I'm looking forward to try some of the other Korean dishes na meron sila kasi ang dami talaga. Na-appreciate din namin yung service nila kasi proactive sila mag-offer ng refill ng side dishes to take your order and all that. And very knowledgeable sila sa kanilang mga products and i-educate ka nila kung paano yung tamang pag-grill, yung order ng pag-grill and kung paano hindi masunog yung cheese and all that. So that's it for my Soban K-Town Grill Review na parang naging mukbang na. Sana nag-enjoy kayo at sana na kahit paano nasagot yung mga tanong nyo nung kinlik nyo yung video na to. So if you like these types of videos, please check my channel and consider subscribing. It would also help a lot if you comment and like this video and share nyo sa mga gusto nyo maging kasama sa Soban para kumain ng Korean food. So, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye!